Matthew 24 verse 24. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. The main aim, vision, and goal of the devil is to convince 100% of human beings to rebel against God just like the one-third of angels rebelled against God. According to Matthew chapter 8 verse 29. The devil and his demons knows very well that there is an appointed time when God will destroy them, hence they want to do all they can to convince you and I to partake in their destruction. Knowing their appointed time is almost due, the devils has implemented sophisticated and complex plans and strategies aimed at drawing as much people possible to hell. It is important to note that, the devil is investing more efforts to capture Christians and believers as they are his prime target in the last days. This is the key strategy Satan and his demons are using to draw multitudes to hell. 2 ND Corinthians 11 verse 14 to 15. It is of no wonder that Satan himself shall masquerade as an angel of light and his servants into workers of righteousness. Since Satan's main agenda in the end time is to break into the church and deceive God's own people, he is seriously working hard to get God's own people to regard bad as good and good as bad by using demonic servants, false prophets and teachers to spread doctrines and beliefs that conflict scriptures. These beliefs, teachings and doctrines are aimed and strategically designed to please men and rebrand evil as good. No wonder several churches today have started approving same-sex marriage which God called abominable in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. No wonder Apostle Paul stated emphatically in 2 Timothy 4 verse 3 that the time will come which is the end time when men will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Currently, it has become very difficult to differentiate between true prophets and false prophets because the devil is doing his best to breach the gap between these two sets of prophets. Hence once a child of God yields to their doctrines and demonically inspired teachings, they start to drift away from God even without their knowledge. Millions of people have fallen prey to this scheme and have given up on their faith which is given to them from above to follow others which are inspired by demons. There are several prophets today who can work miracles, teach the word and even act like true prophets but inwardly they are wolves in sheepskin whose mission is to convince the children of God to believe their ministrations only to cast them under the heavy chains of Satan which leads one straight to hell. The Bible affirms that the devil's strategies are so potent to the extent that God will have to shorten the days else no man will be saved. Matthew 24:22. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Therefore, there is the need for all humans to identify the evil in the times in which we dwell. Know God personally, ask the Holy Spirit to grant you insight into his word so that the devil will not convince you to partake in his impending doom which is hellfire. If you find any doctrine from any preacher weird or not in conformity to the word of God, don't buy into it. May God grant us strength to withstand the schemes of the devil in this last days. Kindly support our vision by subscribing to this channel. We will be back with more timely end time revelations. Stay tuned.